Minnesota. Ah, oh, man. Minnesota. I had so much fun with you guys this past weekend. Anybody from Minnesota on the show right now? Let me know. Let me know. But um, got a great show today. Uh, if you guys not from Minnesota, let us know where you guys are at. I uh, love to see where all my viewers are, are 
coming from currently. And if you guys want to say hi, you know, uh, we'll give you a shout out on the show as well. So, um, yeah, so we got a uh, uh, Jamon, Jamon, always, always supporting us on the show. There you go. He has his website. If you guys want to promote your, your website, comment below. I'll share it out on the show, right? <laughs> uh, JD, what's up? What's up? So yeah, uh, give us your give me your address for your your your, uh, your store. Well, I'll, I'll promote it for you. <laughs> uh, what's up, Core? And we got Long Beach in the house. Holy cow! What's up, Long Beach? <laughs> so yeah, great show today, guys. Uh, I, I was just gonna bring in here, you know, um, John. Uh, I mean, we got a lot to discuss. So let's go ahead and bring him in here, and we'll take it from here. So guys, welcome. John Yang on the show. Three, two, one. He's on. Hey, John, what's going on? How's it going? How's it going, everyone? Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, are you exhausted? Exhausted <laughs> from the event? I mean, from the event? Work, yeah. <laughs> Not from the event, but just anything, you know, just life in general. I mean, you know, I got so much going on on my plate. Uh, you know, it is what I, it is. We got to hustle. I hear you, man. The hustle's real with you, dude. I mean, I know you and I were were pulling uh pretty hard. I mean, we're we were late at night pulling this event together too. So like, I was messaging you sometimes at two o'clock in the morning. You were or so, and you were still messaging me back. I'm like, wow, you know. So uh, yeah, kudos, man. This guy's a hardworking guy. You know, without without him, you know, pushing this, you know, we probably wouldn't get this event going. So let's. Guys, give a few thumbs up to John for doing this. Uh, he's the one that reached out to me to get the last. I mean, we'll talk about it in a bit. So, um, but let's start say, by saying hello. You know, some of these hellos here. Um, we got uh, two says hi. Uh, hi. Says hi. Uh, so Myrtle Beach. Man, it's late for you, Myrtle Beach. <laughs> it's like 10 o'clock right now for you. And Twas says hi. So, and shane so guys yeah say hi you know we'll give you guys a shout out on the show so guys welcome to show 65 we're gonna talk about you know what happened this weekend with the home real estate investing class that we, uh that chambers uh held for uh this past weekend and uh we'll take it from there so hey john welcome to the show yeah thank you chai for having me on the show um i hope that we can shed some light to a lot of people out there who missed the show right i mean Actually, they didn't miss anything because we do have this recording, so we'll share it out. I mean, it's valuable information, valuable knowledge that can change lives. Yeah, yeah, we are. Uh, uh, you normally uh, we were we weren't going to do it because there's so much equipment, and you know somebody had to be there. And you know, I know you were running the the table, and I'm I'm teaching, and I got my my um my team teaching as well. So we're constantly like there was so much moving parts in the back, but um, we had somebody and. Uh, you know, do you want to say who it is that was able to record for us? Oh, yeah, Jervain from tomorrow, Mong. So once his video comes out, we'll be sure to share it out to our social media network. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Zach. So, uh, what do you think about the two day course? Uh, oh, actually, it wasn't two days, right? So, sorry, yeah, we started with a two day course, right? That we're going to take it like two days teaching on how to invest in real estate and then we and then something happened right we had to bring it back down and we had to squeeze that we it, it, it didn't take place so we had to consolidate that and i think a lot of it was just trying to find the venue right uh, yeah. that can support because we had like over 500 people um registered to want to learn about how to invest in real estate and then and then you know something happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to I mean, tell us what happened? Yeah, it, it all started last year because um, the Hmong Chamber had a state grant that we were planning to use for to build workshops for the Hmong community, right? To bring some value to um, to what we do. And I was like, you know what? Um, we have so much um, investors in the Hmong community. Let's bring someone who's who has experience, knowledge, and who's been success at what they do. So I was like, you know, I wanted to reach out to you and see if you can come and do a workshop, like a two day workshop, we'll do it at a big event, big venue and pay for all the costs and everything using the state and grant. But our proposal that we sent to state and grant was turned down. So it was like, you know, okay, let's fall back to plan B, right? 
you know, because we hyped it up. We got to come through and, you know, we want, we want to walk out talk. So um, I was like, I know I was trying to schedule other times throughout summer with you and also maybe do it at uh, uh, AAPI Business Expo, which is on May 14th, but that didn't work on your schedule. And you were like, you know, in the last minute, hey, you can come out last weekend. I was like, let's do it. Let's, let's try to see what we can do. And we we're lucky enough to find uh, um, a conference room in a library and that worked out perfect. You know, I had projectors, microphone, everything that we needed uh, in a classroom environment. So um, even though we had a capacity of 80, um, you know, a lot of people reached out, they wanted to attend, they were a little disappointed, but um, hey, next year we'll plan better, we'll do it better. And like I said, you know, um, don't worry because we have all the recordings, so you didn't really miss out on anything. But it was just like the in person, uh, it brings a different vibe when you're in person. You know, you learn better. That's all. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, yeah, watching it, it's it's different because it's just like watching YouTube. You can learn this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the whole part of it is this, uh, you know, asking questions, right? You can't, you watch something, you can't ask questions along the way. And that's uh, that's the biggest thing. So, yeah. So, you know, uh, so, I mean, are you new to real estate as well, John? I am. Thing? I'm a homeowner, but I've never really, really looked into real estate. And I think what I've learned from there, from this workshop, you know, I think next year I may look into, you know, starting, you know, investing again, you know, into real estate. So uh, it was definitely good information that I've learned that I've never heard of, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What's. Yeah, what was the biggest takeaway? I mean, I'm just curious from like a newbie, like, you know, did you did you have any big takeaway from this uh, particular event? Yeah, just how the process worked, you know, the uh, the rule of Burr, right? Uh, buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. You know, like that was something new to me. I know it's probably common for real estate um, investors, but for me, that was something new and just a different uh, strategy that you can buy a property without having a lot of money or a lot of or good credit, right? So um, I think that, you know, just having the connection of who to reach out to, who you can trust um, and having your social uh, media group where you can um, get knowledge from and learn from people like uh, Tu Fan, you know, uh, he just posted, but, um, you know, as being a investor, you had an investor, you had a invest, um, a real estate broker, you had a mortgage specialist and they all provided shed light and a lot of information, useful information um, as uh, guest speakers and uh, on your panel. So I, I felt like, you know, it was, it was a good class, good workshop. It was engaging. Yep. And that was the whole thing is it's, um, and I want to thank my, uh, my team here, you know, Linda right here, right? Linda's watching right here. Hey, Linda, uh, yeah. appreciate you coming on the show, but yeah, Linda, uh, she's a mortgage specialist. So, you know, um, she reached out to me. She wanted to I mean, contribute her time just to help, you know, elevate the home people. And, and so she came, you know, she's, she's, she, I, I didn't have to, you know, ask her, she's like, Hey, you know, anything I can do to help. And I'm like, yeah, I love it for you to come. And that's it. She came and, you know, she helped answer a lot of the questions that many of the the people there uh, had questions on. And then we had two, which is like, like a seasoned real, real estate investor. He had like 24 units, you know, well, we call it 24 doors. Uh, he was there, you know, and, you know, just, just to say, Hey, I'm here. It took him five years to get to 20, I mean, 24 doors. Holy cow. I mean, that's like fast, right? So it's not like we're just teaching uh, just something like out of textbook. We got people that, you know, Linda's invested. She, she's an investor, two is an investor. And then we had David out of like a, like a, like a broker, right? Uh, like real estate agent broker. So he's actually done some deals like investment himself. And he's there as a broker just to, to, to talk about how to find deals and teach about all that kind of stuff that, you know, what a brokers were see. So uh, I want to, uh, Big thanks to my team. So if you guys were there, if you guys are watching, uh, and guys, just say, you know, just give us a few thumbs up just so for, you know, my team. I know you guys can't clap. We can't see you guys clap. So <laughs> just give us a thumbs up. Say, hey, you know, thanks to my team that came out. Uh, they were, you know, they were great. I mean, love, love you guys. All right. So, yeah. Um, so as far as uh, this event, what did you think? I mean, is it like, uh, I, I, did, I mean, you sat in the back right the what what was the energy like that kind of stuff it was good i mean you know you got to answer all the questions that the um the audience had and a lot of people came up to me and said you know thank me for hosting this you know they learn a lot from, from this session and um you know like i said you know the information that you gave is um, out there is going to change lives you know um, not a lot of people know how to invest like you guys do and you know the 
it's the, the scare to invest in money because of the risk, right? But if you have the right guidance, um, you know, they have that trust and that roadmap and direction to uh, where they need to be at. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we didn't work off any PowerPoints at all. And, you know, that's, I didn't want that at all. You know, some people were expecting some sort of, you know, maybe some sort of like a classroom type of PowerPoint. No, we sat, I brought my uh, my speakers in and we just grind it out. What questions do you have? We answer it. What bullet points uh, that, you know, I'm asking them what's working currently in the market and that kind of stuff. I mean, we're drilling it all the way. So there, so if you weren't taking notes uh, <laughs> and just sat there, then yeah, that's your thing, right? So, um, but you know, I wanted to read some of the, re the reviews, right? So like some people reached out to me and uh, I got some reviews. So you want to, you want to hear some of these reviews, John? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So these are real, real reviews. I'll just read three because I so far I sent out an email earlier, and I just got three so far. So I mean, I'm sure there's more, but uh, we'll just read three just for time too. So, uh, hey, Chai and uh, Minnesota Home Chambers. My wife and I learned so much within that four-hour workshop that you had offered. It was very informational and knowledgeable event. I wish we had more time, more information on each subject you talked about. And this is limited. And this is and this, but this time is limited, so it's understandable. Bad thing is about the worship is with the location. <laughs> now, I know we had a little incident about the you know the location, right? But you know it, we were so happy that we actually got that location, right? Because we were we were like down to like the wire on that location, right? So we yeah. want to thank. So we want to. Oh, first of all, I want to thank you know the people that contributed to help us along the way because we were struggling. So I reached out originally. This is how it worked out. I and mean, this is part of like when I when I talk to people about the workshop, I said your connections is what what helps you along the way to be successful. I reached out to David, right? David Yang, which is one of the, the guest speakers. And we we found some locations, but it didn't work out. They were all full, right? So then I reached out to two, which is the other um which is the other guest speaker. And he's like, Well, why don't you try HAP or um some other locations? And then I reached out to you. Hey, do you have any connections with HAP, right? And then HAP came back and goes, all right, why don't you try the library? And we tried the library. And that's, you know, all this happened, like, really within a few days. But that's that's what it takes to be successful is to have these type of connections. And, you know, I mean, it wasn't that bad, right? I, I mean, I love that venue. It took me a couple of hours to find that place, calling back and forth, you know. So it was a lot of work. Yeah. So, uh, but that venue looked great. I mean, I, I whatever it is, I mean, I, I liked it. I know we had a little mishap on it, but but it was just minor. It was just minor. But um, the other the other review was uh, appreciate the realness you bring to the table, right? The conversations, the insights you are willing to have, uh, build confidence in the midst of uncertain for us. I remember you said sometimes you just get in there and just do it. Most will never know what that truly means because the fear of failure weighs more than their hope in success. But I'm glad you said it. I don't remember what I said in there, but if that's what they said, <laughs> I mean, usually I tell a lot of people, just do it, guys, right? So uh, he says the information was, was great, uh, but a little overwhelming for a new person like myself. So I guess I know we were trying to consolidate like two days worth of data into like four hours. So maybe that was like, and we did move pretty fast. So maybe for a newbie it was like oh man it was kind of overwhelming but you know um well hopefully you know that's another way of trying to learn right so you know learn how to learn faster <laughs> uh, but i appreciate the wealth of knowledge and different seasoned individuals in a group so that's that's that was what their comment was and then the, the last one was uh this was probably one of the most useful and helpful workshops i gone to so that was pretty cool yeah uh, i'm really I'm really considering the the Florida one. Okay, so the Florida one is 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 the millionaire conference that I'm holding, guys. So like I'm holding a conference with just you know I'm bringing in more millionaires for this conference to to teach, right? So you guys come in and learn from more millionaires as guest speakers to get that mindset. So I'm so that's what she's talking about. So if you guys are interested, uh, I would you know this is I would say this is a really great event to go to if you want that mindset and if you want to be connected with with people with resources. So I uh, go to mohustlers.com forward slash seminars. Okay. Um, and you know, I'll put it in the comments below. 
But uh, she said that, you know, uh, I'm really considering the Florida one. I think once I'm comfortable with my deals, I'll put more time into thinking about it. So, yeah. So she's actually working on a deal right now. So uh, it, she's probably kind of stressful right now about it. So, yeah, that would be, these are great reviews, John. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. So, um, oh, man. So, you know, great event. Um, thanks for uh, inviting me. Uh, I love the connections. The people there were like really, really um, professional um, and, you know, treated everybody professionally. So um, that just shows you what type of people uh, are coming to these kind of stuff. So thanks for reminding me, John. Yeah, anytime. And I think that, you know, maybe we should make this an annual thing. You know, maybe next year we'll try to do something bigger because I feel like a lot of people like this information. So. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? You guys like this? If you guys like this, give us a few thumbs up, you know. And um, maybe, you know, let's just see what the, the attraction is on this, right? So, you know, oh, how about you guys? We, we just want to know, what would you, how would you say this? How about you guys type in chambers? How about that? If you type in chambers, we know that you guys are interested in new, new, new type of content and maybe we'll set something up. If we don't see chambers in the comments, then we know that this wasn't successful. <laughs> yeah, to, to me, being part of a the member membership for the chamber is kind of like, you know, do you support more businesses? You know, if you do, you should be uh, part of the chamber is how I see it. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, we'll talk about that. Hey, so, John, hey, you guys are here. John's, John's getting ready to give away free membership to chambers. I mean, so you know, we'll talk about that in a bit. But let, let's get into what what do you do, John? Like, I know you have a business. And then we'll talk about what you do uh, personally in your personal life. And then we'll talk about how you got started in uh, among chambers in Minnesota. And then. You know, the rest of it is just you giving out free memberships. Yeah, uh, for me, I'm self-employed. I run a digital marketing company called Vision SEO. Um, right now, I'm also in the U.S. Air Force Reserve. And what I do on a side gig, I, I also do crypto mining. So, you know, I'm hustling like you guys are, right? So it keeps me busy. I'm also the chair for the Minnesota Moon Chamber of Commerce. So that's a full-time position itself, you know. And I don't get paid to do what I do, right, to give back to the community. Um, so our board at the at the chamber, we don't get paid. Uh, the only staff is our executive director, Yao Yang. And so I wanted to just make it clear, you know, I don't get paid to do what I do. It's community service. Wow. So, yeah, this is all course. volunteer, right? I, pretty much. Yeah, it's, it's like me and you, you know, when you're successful, you want to give back, right? You didn't have to come and teach. You know, you could have been home taking care of your B&B and your family, but you took your time to come and share your knowledge. So that means a lot. That's giving back to the community. And um you know, it's like I said, it's information, valuable information that, you know, you don't, you don't really get elsewhere. So, um, yeah, same cool. thing with me. Yeah. So tell us about digital marketing. What is that, by the way? So digital marketing is really big. It depends on what type of, um, I guess it has to do with anything that's digital, right? It could be advertising on Facebook, search engines, um, video, YouTube, anything that's digital that you do digital, that's not traditional ads and stuff like that. So um with digital marketing what i focus on for my company is more towards the search engine side uh, which i call um search engine optimization so what that is what search engine optimization is it's being found on google when you search you always see like the top search results right that's through that's not by accident people are doing work behind the scenes to be ranked on top search results and these top search results can be millions for someone you know like um, you know, when you search for a certain terms, you know, that can be like a million dollar keyword if you're ranked on top of search results. So, um, so. Oh, wow. Is, is really yeah. big and fast. Does it cost money to do that, though? Or is it just like just the way how you, you, you structure everything? Like, you got to have a team to write article news to post. Yeah. Um, social media posts and all that stuff that you have to do behind the scene, pretty much providing fresh content every day uh, about your website. Right. Um, to get ranked higher. Um, I mean, it's more technical than that. Um, it has yeah. to do with a lot of analytics and all that stuff. But, um, you know, that's a whole new story. That you, like another class. Yeah, you talk yeah, about. yeah. Maybe uh, we'll have you teach that. I like to learn that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. Very cool. How did you get started in that? Is that like a, like a high school thing? You went to college for? Or like what? How did you get started in that? Yeah. Um, so I started getting to it um, during college. Um, and I used to do like a lot of drop shipping e-commerce stuff. Yeah. Um, I was an eBay power seller back in the days. So I was doing a lot of wow. selling a lot of electronics to household items. And 
um, I always, I always, always try to figure out how I can bring traffic and sales to my website, right? So that's yeah. when I started doing more research. I mean, back then they didn't have any class or teachers to teach about these type of course. You had to learn yourself. You had to, um, you know, test out the website to see what works and kind of tweak the website to see if it's ranking higher and track the positions of. Every time you make an update, you want to track your results to see if they're on the first page or if they're you know, on the fifth page of Google and try to see what you're doing right to get ranked up. So uh, that's how I started. It's really to see how I can drive traffic to my website when I was, uh, when I was working on it back then. So you say it costs, I mean, it costs like, how do, what does it cost just to get that particular, let's say I'm trying to sell like papaya salad out of Minnesota, right? A little, I have a little shop, right? And I just want to be like, people search papaya salad, Minnesota. Like, what is it? How much? How much would it cost? It's just, just get my ranking, just to get to that top search. It depends how competitive the, the keyword is. So Google yeah. has a keyword tool where you can search to see how many searches per month these keywords yeah. are, these search terms are being searched, right? And if you're looking for something like lawyer. Um, that could be worth thousands, you know, like it could take months. It's not something you do and you rank overnight, right? Um, yeah. It could take months. It could take years to be at the top. So it depends how competitive it is. If you're competing against a corporate, um, you know, they're spending like hundreds of thousands of, of dollars for to rank high. And if you're a small mom and pop shop and, and you're spending a couple hundred dollars, you're not going to uh, be outrank them, you know? So um, it really depends on the keywords search, um, the competitive of, the keyword, right? If it's something where not a lot of people search for it, you can rank on number one, but you may not get traffic and sales to your website, right? So uh, you got to do your research before you try to rank for something. You know, just because you're on the first page, what, what would that, something? Uh, what would something cost like? Just the keyword Mon, like Mon, Minnesota. Like what? What? What is that ranking on that? Like what's just an just a F rough estimate? There's there's no real value for that. Like I'm yeah. ranked number one on um, Mon business because I, yeah. I started creating a loan business uh, directory. Oh, perfect, yeah. Uh -huh. so, uh, something like that for me to invest, I mean, I'd say it took me like maybe a couple months doing it the right way and um, having my team to help me out. So probably maybe like a thousand or two, I'd say over time, like over a um, couple months. Because then you got to- Wow, build okay. Yeah, that's um, that's it. Yeah, wow. So a co over a couple months, just to a thousand dollars, just to get you ranked up there. And then does it, is it harder to knock you off to be number two? Not really, because um, on the back side, Google has an algorithm, right, where it'll, you can pull the number of links from each website. It's almost like a grade, like a score you can compare to the other website. And once yeah. you're on top, as long as you maintain it, you pretty much can be at the top uh, for a very long time if you do all the right things. But if you violate something uh, against the algorithm, you'll get penalized and you can drop in ranking. So. Um, it's yeah. important to know what you're doing and to to optimize your website all the time to rank high. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah, man, that's great. So you guys, you know, looking for some sort to get your business ranked high? Hey, reach out to um, John here. Are you taking a clients or are you just like uh, you already? Are you just have a set amount of? I'm, I'm hoping to help in taking clients, but to be honest, like I'm kind of overwhelmed too. Yeah. Just like, I know I'm you're even focused on business development right now because I'm so overwhelmed and like I have to kind of pass a lot of business to uh, to my team yeah okay cool that's good business is good then i guess so yeah so tell us about minnesota moan chamber of commerce i mean what made you get into it or i guess i mean tell us about the history behind that because i knew there was some history behind it yeah i was actually just talking to um michael yeah Tao. you know you had him on your show before too and he's actually one of the founders and um you know the moan chamber was founded in 1998 where um you know a, a group of entrepreneurs in Twin Cities wanted to come together to start businesses, right? So in order to start these businesses, they need resources. And that's when the Chamber of Commerce was created. So a lot of people don't know what the Chamber of Commerce is. Um, if you're a business owner, you will know it. But if you're not, if you're like a sole proprietor, you might not know about it. But every state has a Chamber of Commerce because the Chamber of Commerce, they're connected with the state elective official, the lawmakers, the policymakers. Um, the wow. different agencies, uh, different corporates, and all the corporates in the state are part of the Chamber of Commerce. Because then, you know, if there's something that we need to pass a law or policy, you know, the Chamber of Commerce has the right connection with these lawmakers to pass policies. You know, if it's to lower taxes, if it's to provide grants for businesses. So that's just one thing. But 
basically the chamber um, helps business businesses grow and sustain it could be through resources through networking events through workshops like the one we just did so yeah um, you know, there's different functions of a, a chamber uh, but the chamber uh, you know like if you were to if you were a business and you try to just try to talk to a um, you know like the senate right they're not going to listen to you they they'll probably go to the chamber first and the chamber represents the the group wow of the yeah the community. wow so you guys so you you i mean this is mr Hmong chambers conference. so you represent kind of like is it just the Hmong or like or yeah we kind of saying Hmong, i'd say yeah. Hmong and southeast asian because a lot of southeast asian they don't have a chamber so they come to us and we help them out but just alone like the the Hmong buying power in Minnesota, it's probably 200 million per year now. Um, and they know that, you know, the Hmong people have power here. So, you know, when I wow. when I have um, interviews with uh, sponsors, corporate sponsors, or like yeah. say, like officials, the first thing they always ask is, you know, how many members do you have, you know? Um, because yeah. they, they know that, you know, with the member, the more members we have, the more power we have. We have voice and, and uh, leverage to really make a voice. So that's why, you know, when I say sign up for a free member, um, it's to su support Hmong businesses. It's, there's no obligation, really. Um, you know, what we do is we send out events and emails, newsletter. That's it. You know, and there's no obligation to be a chamber, to be, um, or to be a member. Wow, because you, dude, that's crazy. 200, 200 million buying power, right, from the Hmong people. That's kind of what you're saying, right? So then you can kind of lobby. I guess you, you use that as a way to lobby for stuff, right? Because yeah. The government will look at you guys and go you guys are credible in a way right that's I mean give us like give us something like what i mean what can you lobby for so for example um we last year we were able to get two hundred fifty thousand state grant for business training workshop for Hmong and southeast asian so yeah. i had to um i mean this was established be, uh, before I, I joined the chamber um uh -huh. but um the grant they approved the grant but the grant was not used so it was it was returned back to the state so when I took in the office, when I took over as a chair, I went back and reinstated that grant. And I had to write a testimonial to the Senate to ask them why we want to bring it back and what we can do. We had to change some language on it. Um, I had to help with uh, see her and her team from um, Council on Asian Pacific Minnesotians. So her state organization helped me out a lot where they helped me draft the testimony. They helped me proofread and connect me with the right senators. Like I had a uh, you know, for example, Senator Pratt, who is the chair for the jobs and labor, um, usually if the bill is under someone's name, like he since he's the chair, so he had a lot of power. Like there was a high chance of getting our bill to approve for the grant to go through. So that's just one example of, you know, how the chamber can represent the community. Holy cow. So then let's say you get that grant, right? What do you do with that money with that grant? Yeah, so we're still in the process of building programs. We have three so far that we're going to submit. So I encourage anyone in Minnesota, if there's some type of business training workshop that you need, uh, reach out to us. But uh, one of them is agricultural that we're working on. The other one is um, social media marketing. And the other one is more uh, communication, how to network, um, digital marketing. Uh, but we'll be sure to uh, provide information out to everyone once it gets approved. So we're in the process of creating these different workshops and it's it's free. You know, it's it's through the state grant. Like this grant here, we can't give out the money for people because I have people asking. Can yeah, yeah. Can I take out a loan? From <laughs> it? No, we can't use the grant for that. The grant can only be used to build workshops, training workshops, and we pay the contractors for that. Yeah. So, I mean, I know we jumped around, but yeah, we'll come back to that. But like, tell us why you got into uh doing this chambers kind of work again yeah so when i moved to minnesota about uh four years ago you know i was trying to look for a chamber because i was part of the chamber i'm from Rhode island so i was part of the chamber back then too back there um and i've been a part of ex business expos and I, that's how i connected to a lot of businesses so when i came here i was trying to get into something like that i uh, i am a member of the minnesota chamber of commerce that's a larger chamber where they have all the corporate they have over two thousand members but um, then I wanted to see what I can do to help the Hmong community too. Um, and that's how I got in touch with the chamber and try to see what I can do. And, um, you know, there wasn't too much going on. So I wanted to see if I can be part of the board and see what I can bring to the table and take it, take things to the next level. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Yeah. You're uh, yeah. So this is great stuff. So, so what you were reaching out earlier is, so you had this, all this grant money, right? So 
any businesses that want to learn how to like improve their business because in business it's hard guys it's either you fail or you win pretty much right so to get any sort of skills like learning how to like i was talking to like we were just talking to john how do you get your business to be like the top ranking search right and that's what john that's what you're saying right we can you can use that money for training so instead of like a business learning uh business will have to go like pay themselves to go learn this particular skill you can you can offer this program for free right well not for free but you can offer it to i guess you can sponsor it? is that is that how it works well, it, it, yeah i mean it's free because it's state it's a state grant so it is free for the businesses that we provide this training workshop for um because because it's great it's taxpayers payers money pretty much when you look at it so you know we want to be transparent we want to be honest see all our uh, all the businesses you know and we all know that knowledge is power right i mean you know just having a knowledge it can take you so uh, you know really far you know if you know what to, how to do things the right way man where you guys people want to join that's awesome so i mean how do people join let's let's start with that yeah. go to mnmoanchamber.org and can you spell you can, that it takes like it's mnmoanchamber.org and i'll put that in the show notes guys um but uh, and I guess you know we'll also put your. You have a Facebook page too, right? Yeah, just search MN Moan Chamber, and okay. you should find well, Minnesota Moan Chamber of Commerce, and it'll, it'll come up. So yeah, sign up, follow us on Facebook, and keep up to date with our events. Yeah. So when you talk about events, you're talking about like teaching events, right? Like how to yep. improve your particular yeah. business. Yeah, it could be networking events. It can be workshops. It can be. Um, you know, collaboration with other small businesses, um, just anything. Like we have a golf outing, we have a silo auction that we try to promote these different businesses. But um, but then the, the largest event that we're doing right now is the first annual AAPI Business Expos, which is going to be hosted at Metro State University on uh, May 14th. So we got a lot of partners and organizations involved um, and our, our sponsor is Wells Fargo. So, it should be big, especially it's the first annual. So I encourage everyone to kind of follow and check it out. What? So what is? I mean, if, if I was to go to that, what is? How does that benefit me? And what? What is AAPI? Um, something, right? What? What is that? Yeah. So AAPI stands for Asian American Pacific Islander. So that's all the organizations um, in the AAPI community, like the Chinese Chamber, uh, Korean, Thai, Laos, um, you name it. Like all the different ethnic group coming together. And we have, you know, um, different keynote speakers being there. We have all the workshops from different state agencies. We it's it's a networking event where you can go there and you can build relationships and network with other entrepreneurs, decision makers. Um, so we got a lot of stuff going on. We we may have like scholarship and raffle giveaways too. Um, wow, we'll be engaging. Uh, we have. Um, you know, we plan to have uh, Gia Vang, who is a news anchor for K11 there, plan to have the governor, the mayor involved, senators involved too, so to do speeches. So uh, there's a lot going on, a lot going on, uh, especially the first annual. So it really is bringing in the community together and bringing in the organization and businesses to, together that hasn't been done in the past. Very cool, man. That's very cool. So like, guys, like in business, uh, networking, like, I, like when I was teaching the course, <clears throat> um, this past weekend i say you know the only way for you to win like great deals i mean you can search for deals like real estate deals off the mls right but for in order for you to find great deals that makes more money is by connecting with people right and we when we two was on the two was our investor uh guest speaker and he and i asked him like like tell me about your deals and how did you get these deals and and he gave me us he gave us his numbers and i go those are great deals they're not just good deals they're like great deals and i asked him the next question was how did you get these deals and he says just through connections he didn't he didn't search and find these deals he got it through connections connecting with people so uh go to this event guys because you go to this event you get to network with what uh, i guess you're talking about like government officials you get, you get network with other businesses that can help each other support each other right and yeah. ultimately connection it was what's going to make you become successful yeah. Can I remember I agree, John? 90 percent of his connect his deals were from um his connections so i haven't forgotten that too i mean that was valuable information 
Yeah, yeah. So I didn't want to give it out his numbers. <laughs> I was gonna spill the numbers out, but I guess we'll wait till the videos. Sorry too. Maybe we'll we'll we don't want to we don't want to tell everybody how much you make money you make. <laughs> but yes, connection guys. So I mean, I mean, is this a free event? Um, um it's it's ten dollars general admission and well, that's nothing. yeah we have different uh, it's a job fair also it's an expo and job fair oh, okay so if you guys need a job or you're looking for uh, something like a better job uh go there but 10 bucks guys 10 bucks is just 10 bucks is just to weed out the people yeah. that are just tire kickers uh, you know so 10 bucks is, so you throw that 10 bucks in you get valuable connections guys so yeah go for that um what, what was the date again on that may 14th it's gonna be on a saturday Mm -hmm. And it's going to be from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. 9 6 p.m. And I guess, you know, I'm sure you already have that on your Facebook page, right? Somewhat. Yes, sir. And uh, I'll put that. I mean, I'll, I'll put your Facebook. How about guys? Guys, go to their Facebook page and just like it, right? Because they're going to offer all these other classes that they're just going to give away. I mean, what majority of you were, would you assume majority of your, your classes that you guys give away are, are free? John? Yes. Yeah. All, all our classes are free. Majority. Yes. If we're using state grant, it's free. Yeah. So if you want to learn how to like level up your business and just learn some business, I mean, I would think that this is probably more valuable than just going to college. I mean, that's just my opinion, right? Because you learn a particular niche on how to like do something with a particular, with your business. So if you're getting free training on this, holy cow, this is great. So, um, like, you know, John says it costs a thousand dollars just to like to increase your search engine, and if he's going to teach you for free on that, that's like a thousand dollar you save on your business. John, you going to teach? You going to teach yeah, at some, to some point on teach. that? Yeah, huh? sure. I'll try to find some teach to teach. Yeah, and maybe hire someone to kind of collaborate with me as well using the yeah. same group. Um, it's a lot wow. of work. Wow! Subscribe to their page, guys. I'm gonna put. Uh, the chambers uh information uh the link uh i mean what is it by the way anyways what is it what is it called it's just uh mn mn, mn moanchambers.org moanchambers .org, or your facebook page is just search Minnesota moan chamber of commerce okay cool so guys go to there like the like the facebook page and you know sign up as a free membership um and be part of the deal you get free training that's crazy you know some people are like i used to pay this kind of stuff like you know this kind of digital stuff i mean i think last time i paid was like a thousand dollars on digital marketing so <laughs> so you guys got it free that's crazy um you guys got any questions go ahead and comment below but uh so the one of the events is may 14 you got any other events planned um we have a golf outing that's probably gonna be around july august so I don't know if you play golf, but I don't play golf. I just go there to network, you know, and that's where you're going to meet like a lot of CEOs, presidents of companies that will come out and play golf and you just kind of network and talk to them, exchange business cards. So yeah. that's how you build relationships. And, um, you know, if you ever need sponsors, hey, you can always come go to one of the um, CEOs or presidents of these banks and they'll help sponsor your event. I've done that before. I've um, referred, you know, people to these, uh, to my connections, then they yeah. got sponsors. I've referred, you know, companies who's looking to hire uh, consult consultation um, work, and you know they were able yeah. to land contracts. So, you know, yeah, networking and relationship goes a, a long way. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome, man. Go to golf outing, guys. Just go to golf outing and just get business card and ask for money <laughs> <laughs> if you need any money. But yeah, that's great. Uh, so, uh, is there any other events other than that after that? Where um, in between we plan to do like more uh, networking events um at local moon businesses or yeah. any businesses that's part of the member will try to host networking events and it's uh you know depending on how COVID is um last year we had like an ice cream show show we had like a aapi um business networking event so this we have so um you know different networking events depending on um how our schedule is and how we work our network with our members so we don't know it's we're kind of just um going um with the flow and then just to see what business needs some um some traction or i guess to uh, to get more visibility out there right so we try to always try to host a networking event at, at a certain business location cool. yeah yeah 
Um, so and, and two goes. When's when is the event? Do I have to be so you so you do you have to be part of the of chambers to attend the event, right? It's not because you're posting it. You have to be part of it. Or how you, does it you work? Be, no, you don't have to be a member. But like it helps to be because you yeah. get that notification. Right. Right. So right. So just uh -huh. just sign up, guys. I mean, it's free, and you get to be first dibs. Like like particular like for instance, our event, right? It was sold out. So whoever signed up before then, I mean, we had people messaging, us, "Oh man, can we get in?" Well, yeah, because you know it's we can only fit eighty people in the room, right? So if you get first dibs, just sign up to be part of the membership. It's free, and you get to be first notified first, or and, and also sign on the Facebook page. So you get two notifications. You, you get to see that something's coming up, and you get an email so you don't miss something. And guys, yeah, just just I don't know what else to say. I mean, these these are free stuff to sign up for. Um, yeah, man, that's all I got. So, uh, so, uh, JD says, Hey, so looking forward to your events, John. So I guess, uh, she's going to sign up and, uh, that's great. So, uh, sure. how do we, how do people get a hold of you, John? It's just by those, those two only or any other way. Yeah. I mean, my personal business email is, is uh, John at vision SEO.com. So V I Z I O N S E O.com. If they're looking to learn more about SEO stuff, digital marketing stuff, but for the Moan Chamber, um, it's info at mn, um, mnmoanchamber.org. So info at mnmoanchamber.org. Okay, cool. Hey, two just signed up. So that, oh, congrats, congrats, two. congrats two. Yeah, That's a smart thing right there. Two is one of our investors, guy. He was a he was a guest speaker. So you guys want to know, learn from somebody who's done like 24 doors, you know, uh, he's going to be there. Go find him there. <laughs> Ask him about how to invest in real estate, you know, so. John, it was it was nice working with you. I uh, mean, you guys carry uh, everything really professional. Uh, uh, how we got the venue to how we got you know uh, the presentation and everything. Uh, you guys, you guys were great at it. I uh, mean, love working with you guys. Uh, look, hope hope to be working with you guys in the future. If you guys have anything going on, just let me know, man. I'm I'm open to stuff like that. So appreciate you inviting me to come up there for me to connect with people up there as well. So uh, do you have any last thing to say? Yeah, I want to thank you too for having me on your show. Thank you and your team for coming out to make the workshop happen and to uh, to really drive more traction to the Moon Chamber as well. So we look forward to our collaboration and partnership in the future. Um, that's all I have on, on my side, yeah. All right, cool. So, hey, John, you know, before we let our guests go, there's usually one question that we ask all our guests is, because this is a money show, you know, uh, tell us something that you learn about money. Do you, do you have anything that you know anything about money that you learn yeah, about money? Yeah, I mean, to make money, you got to have money, right? And you need to take risks in any type of business or investment. But then I also learned that money doesn't buy happiness. You know, you don't need to be rich to be happy, but as long as you can find your passion and purpose, the money will come, will follow, you know? And, you know, and also give back. If you're successful, help lift others up um, for the one, for the, for those that are in need, you know, it's kind of like what we're doing, you know, it's, it's community service is what I consider giving back when you're successful yeah that's awesome yeah and that's that's the reason why i was i was really committed to come and help you guys because part of it was i told myself if i was ever successful that i would send the elevator back down to help the people that wanted to learn this kind of stuff and and you when you reached out that was kind of my 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 light saying hey it's time for me to to give back and that i mean you gave me that path to come and, and teach and help others so I appreciate you satisfying that for me. So, um, all right, John. So until then, uh, hey, don't be a stranger. And uh, guys, until then, um, keep hustling, all right? Good night, guys. Good night. Keep hustling. Keep hustling.